back to another video. So in today's video, it's going to be a Rainbow Loom collection. Over the past few years, I've been making a bunch of Rainbow Loom creations. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So first up, I have a Lumigurumi Kermit the Frog. And this design was created by Looming with Cheryl. Next, I have this bracelet, which is called the Butterfly Angels Bracelet, which is an original design by me. Next, I have the Vanessia Bracelet by at MDL underscore looms on Instagram. And I also have the Chic Chevron Bracelet by Claire's Wares. And then I have the P Peace Love Pokemon Bracelet, also by Claire's Wares. And then I have this bracelet, which is called the Mechanical Mechanimore Bracelet, also by MDL underscore looms. And next up, I have this design. Next, I have this bracelet, which is called the Ice Sculpture Bracelet. And this design was created by at MS Loom on Instagram. I have another Chic Chevron Bracelet. And then I have the copycat bracelet, which is created by Ginger Cell Looms on Instagram. And then I have the Firestar bracelet, which is an original design by me. And then I have the Donnie bracelet, which is a hook-only design created by Claire's Wares. Next up, I have the Darnit bracelet by Claire's Wares. And then I have this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Anastasia bracelet and there's a tutorial by iCrafts. And next up I have this design, which is a loom design. This bracelet is called the Malika bracelet and there's a tutorial by Loom Snow. And next up I have this bracelet, which is called the Caribbean Sea bracelet and there's a tutorial by me. And this one is the next bracelet that I have. So this bracelet is called the Perry Docksides bracelet. And this is a design by at panda underscore looms on Instagram. And there's a tutorial by at MDL underscore looms. Next there is this bracelet which is called the Claire Bear bracelet. And there's a tutorial by Claire's Wares on Instagram. And this bracelet was designed by Sydney Looms. Next, I have this bracelet, which is called the God's Eye Bracelet, which is also a tutorial by Claire's Wares. Next up, I have the Brush Strokes Bracelet, and I believe there's a tutorial by Tiger Girl Looms. Next, I have a Pencil Topper Minion. It's a purple minion. Next, I have this bracelet, which is called the Esther Bracelet, and there's a tutorial by Caitlin underscore Lan on Instagram. And the original design was created by Sprinkle.Looms on Instagram. Next up, I have a Happy Soda created by Phil and Spiffy. Here is the Rudolph bracelet by At Crazy Just Might Work. Next, I have this bracelet, which is an original design created by me. And this is called the Swirly Snakes bracelet, which is a hook-only design. Here is another hook-only design, which is called the Bat's Wings bracelet, which is also an original design by me. Next, I have a Rare Diamond Edition bracelet, which is an original design by me. And it's also a loom design. Next up, I have this bracelet. Next up is this bracelet, and it's called the Birds of Paradise bracelet. And it has the Sparrow bracelet border on it. And there is a tutorial by Official Rainbow Loom. And then you can go ahead and watch my Sparrow Bracelet tutorial, which shows you how to add the border. Next up, I have a Happy Hamburger. And this design was created by Phil and Spiffy. Next up, I have a Seahorse. And there is a tutorial by Craft Muse. Next, I have the Clearwater Bracelet. And there is a tutorial by The Loom Galaxy. Next up, I have the United Kingdom flag, and this is a mural that I made, and there's a tutorial by Isalicious Designs. Next up is the Krusty Krab bracelet, and there's a tutorial by Leah's Life. Next up is the Hopes and Dreams bracelet, and there's a tutorial by Loves to Loom. 
Next up is the asterisk bracelet and there is a tutorial by Tutorials by A. Next up is the Oreos track bracelet and I do not know unfortunately who created this design. Next up is the Dylan bracelet which is an original design created by me and this bracelet was named by Tammy, Tammy Renee Vaughan. Next up here is a little tiny uh, guava cake that I made a long time ago. There is a tutorial by me but I might make an updated version of it and this was inspired by at Vic Stars micro cakes. Next up is the Mahalo bracelet and there is a tutorial by uh, at Emerald Looms on Instagram and this bracelet was designed by Diamond.Looms and I simply just added a fishtail border. Next I have the Creepy Crawly bracelet which there is a tutorial by Claire's Wares. Here is a loom design that I created and this is called the Ocean Twines bracelet and it is reversible and made on the loom. And here I have this bracelet that I made. It's like a granny square bracelet, but I forgot who made this bracelet. Next up, I have a mini zombie girl that I made. Here is a super cute and adorable 4th of July Uncle Sam charm that I made on the loom. And there is a tutorial by me. Next up, I have a super cool and awesome adult tiger that I made on the loom. And there's a tutorial by Courtney Nicole. Next up I have a Rainbow Loom Lumigurumi Giraffe and there is a tutorial by Looming with Cheryl on Instagram. Next up I have the Apes Bracelet and there is a tutorial by Expert Looms on Instagram. Next I have the Ice Caves Bracelet and I added a single chain border to it and there is a tutorial by Loves to Looms. Next up I have a Sea Cucumber Bracelet but it's I turned it into a flower. And there's a tutorial by Claire's Wares. Here is the Zip Trail Bracelet. And there's a tutorial by at MDL underscore looms. And this is a variation that I made. Next up I have the Pascal Bracelet. And this design was created by at Emerald Looms. And there's a tutorial by Loom Snow on YouTube. Here is a Starburst Bracelet that I made. And next up I have the super cute and adorable Agnes. As you can see, this is how she looks like. So there is a tutorial also by Looming with Cheryl. Next up I made the Oscar the Grouch, which is a Lumigurumi design. And there is a tutorial by Looming with Cheryl also. Here is a Rainbow Loom Dumbo that I've made and there is the tutorial by Christina Davis. Next up here is a Mickey Mouse charm that I made which is Lumigurumi and there is the tutorial by Looming with Cheryl. Here is a Pink Monkey and there is also a tutorial by Christina Davis or Craft Muse. Next up I have the Nami bracelet and this design was created by at Ginger Cell. Next up is this bracelet which is called the Swirly Thorns bracelet and there is a tutorial by Caitlin Land and this design was created by at MDL underscore looms. Next up is the Fugitive Lace bracelet and there is a tutorial by Rebels Corner. Oh I mean at Expert Looms and this design was created by Rebels Corner. And I just added a center design to it and this was created by at Big Star. Next up is a Sparrow bracelet which is an original design by me. And next is the Lilita bracelet which is another design by me. Next up I have a Lumigurumi Pixar ball which is also by me. Here is the Panda Claw bracelet and this is by at Panda Looms. And I also have this bracelet which was created by Claire's Wares and this is called the Diagonal Cross Bracelet. Next up is the Diagonal Cross Bracelet and there is a tutorial by Claire's Wares and the only difference is I added tiny flowers to it. Here is the Tidal Wave Bracelet and there is a tutorial by Tutorials by A. Next up is this bracelet and this is a variation or a mashup between the web weave bracelet and the cross mines bracelet and there is this tutorial by MDL underscore looms. 
Next up is the Aztec Lace Bracelet and there's a tutorial by Loom Snow and this design was created by Looming.Loom. Next I have the Tropico Bracelet and there's a tutorial by Looming by Anna. And here I have another mini cake and pie that I made. And next up I have a super cute and adorable little unicorn that I've made and there is a tutorial by Looming with Cheryl. Here is a bunch of 3D balloons that I've made and there is a tutorial by Tutorials by A. Next up I have the Anna bracelet and there is a tutorial by Claire's Wears. Next up I have the Trellis bracelet and there is also a tutorial by Claire's Wears. I also have a double starburst bracelet. Next up, I have the In the Shadows bracelet, and this was created by at beautiful.looms on Instagram, and there is a tutorial by me. I also have a few more cakes and pies that I've made a long time ago. Next up, I have the Darn It Dangling Love Spider bracelet, and there is a tutorial by me, and this is also a variation of the design. Here is a 3D candy corn charm and there is a tutorial by JC and Casey. Next up I have the avalanche bracelet and there is a tutorial by at emerald looms. Next up I have the Venice bracelet and there is a tutorial by loom snow. And I also have this bracelet which is called the gentle giant bracelet and this is a variation. And there is a tutorial by ginger cell looms. Next up I have a few charms that I have and first up this is the 11 charm that I have created and 11 is from Stranger Things. Comment down below if you would like to see a tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial yet but I would absolutely love to. Next up I have a tidbit, a tidbit piglet charm and that's by All Things Disney. And I have a tidbit Hector charm and there's a tutorial by me. And I have a tidbit dash charm and there's also a tutorial by me. And last but not least I have a tidbit jack jack charm which there's also a tutorial by me. Next up I have a ghost and there is a tutorial by Elegant Fashion 360. And I also have a cute and adorable Agnes charm. And I forgot who did the tutorial for that charm. And next up, I believe this is called the Candy Fruit Bracelet. And I believe there's a tutorial by Amandica, Amanda Monica Arlumi. And I also have the Velvetto Bracelet. In this bracelet, I won Loom Star of the Week with. And this is an original design. And there is a tutorial by me. And it's also reversible. And I also have this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Typhoon Bracelet and this design was created by Diamond.Looms and there is a tutorial by me. Next up I have a unicorn charm and this is how it looks like. I did it based off the colors of basically from Despicable Me. There is a tutorial by at tutorials by A. Next up I have a few more charms. This bracelet is called the Pinkie Pie tail bracelet and this is an original design by me and there's a tutorial too by me. I have a daisy duck zoom zoom which the bow came off but that's daisy duck and I have the tropico bracelet and there is a tutorial by looming by Anna and I have a jack-o-lantern charm and this there is a tutorial by JC and Casey and here's another in the shadows bracelet I have this bracelet which is called the Twisted Invasions bracelet and there is a tutorial also by me. Here is the Tracy bracelet and there is a tutorial by Loom Snow. And I have a Gru charm and I have a Girl Minion charm which they both look like this. There is a tutorial by me with the Gru charm and I haven't done a tutorial on the Girl Minion yet. But comment down below if you would like to see a tutorial on the girl menu. I also have a super cute and adorable turkey that I've made. And this is based off the chick charm that at Craft Muse made. So this is how he looks like. 
And I also have another candy fruit bracelet. And I have this bracelet, which I believe is called the Web Weaver Bracelet by at MDL underscore looms. And I also have this bracelet, which I forgot the name of it. I think this is called the Diamond Rigid Bracelet, I believe, but I'm not 100% for sure. Next up, I have the Cyclone Bracelet, and this design is an original design, and there is a tutorial by at Moon Lumi. So next up, I have a few more items, and I'll just basically show them to you. I have this bracelet. I also have this design. And these two designs are created by, basically they're created by Rainbow Road 2020. I also have this bracelet, and this is an original design by me. And basically the colors are Hanukkah based. And this is called the Twisted Invasions. And I simply just added a border to it. So I will show you that. I next up also have this bracelet, which is called the French Braid Bracelet. And there's a tutorial by... There's a tutorial by Tutorials by A. I also have a minion, but he, I didn't put eyes on him. Because it came with a set of goggles that I've made. But I don't know where they are exactly. I also have this bracelet, and I forgot who made this bracelet, but this is how it looks like. I have a post on my Instagram if you want to go ahead and check it out. I also have the Sea Pig bracelet, and there is a tutorial by Claire's Wares. And then this is called the Nightcrawler bracelet, and there is a tutorial by Emerald Looms. I also have a little charm of a leprechaun that I made. And it's an original design by me. I also have a strawberry shortcake charm that I've made. And I haven't done a tutorial yet. I did a long time ago, but it's not as clear as my tutorials have been now. So I will try to remake a tutorial on that. And then I also have this bracelet. And there is a tutorial by Loom Snow. And then I have the curtain bracelet that I've made. And I have a minion charm, but there is a tutorial by Crafts by Cream. I have a Oreo mini cake and pie. I have this bracelet, which is entirely made of seat clips and bands. And there is a tutorial by Claire's Wares. And I have this pumpkin bracelet that I've made. And then I have a yo-yo flamingo charm, which is a Tsum Tsum. And then I made this uh, on the Alpha Loom. It's a Mickey and Minnie Mouse charm bracelet. And then I have a Minnie Minion. I have the Aquanita bracelet. And there's a tutorial by iCrafts. I have a Witch charm and there is a tutorial by me. I have a spider that I made a long time ago and I forgot who made this charm. I also have this bracelet and I don't really know the who made this design. I also have this bracelet, which I forgot the name of it, unfortunately. And I have a blueberry cake that I've made, which is an original design. And I also have another witch charm and another leprechaun charm, which there's a band on it. And another strawberry shortcake. And I have this bracelet. And basically the first bracelet that I showed you, which was this bracelet. This is how it looks like without a border. And that's the butterfly angels bracelet. And then I have a mini tidbit Frankenstein charm. I have another Hector charm that I've made. And then I have this bracelet, which I forgot the name of it. And then I have another mini jelly cake that I've made. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I have like another full bag of Rainbow Loom stuff. But this is mainly the main stuff that I have so far. I also have the Rainbow Loom Candy Reversible Candy Cane Tastic bracelet. And I also have 
this bracelet that I've made. I don't know the exact name to it. And I also have the crisscross lace bracelet, which is an original design by me. And I also have the Riker bracelet, which is inspired by at MDL underscore looms design. But yeah, I think that's mainly part of this box here. Everything was stored in a shoe box that I have. And then this is another rare diamond edition bracelet that I've made. So now let's go on to some more stuff that I have. Here I have a bag full of rainbow loom stuff. This is just simply stored in a Ziploc bag. As you can see, I have a bit of stuff. And first up, I have the triple fishtail bracelet. I have a baby Ursula tidbit charm. There is a tutorial by, t by All Things Disney. I also have a Rainbow Loom Tsum Tsum Nemo and this there is a tutorial by Emmeline's Loomtique and I also have a Hexafish I believe it is and I also have this bracelet which I made a very long time ago I called it the um I called it the lasagna bracelet inspired by like Garfield on the show and basically this is how it turned out and I made this bracelet. I do not know the name of it, but it's just basically a few single chains as a bracelet. And then I have this bracelet, which I believe is called the bicycle chain bracelet, but I have no idea. I have the mermaid fishtail bracelet. I forgot who made the tutorial. And then I also have a fishtail bracelet. Then I have another blueberry cake but I messed up on that one here's another rare diamond edition bracelet but with a fishtail here is a full brush strokes bracelet that I have and there's a tutorial by tiger girl looms another fishtail that I've made and this is mainly this bag is mainly of charms in bracelets that I've made here is the elephant from Inside Out, and there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. And then here's a anger charm that I've made, also by All Things Disney. I also have this bracelet, but I forgot the name of it, and it's an original design by me. I also have this bracelet, and this is a combination of the sparrow bracelet, and there is also the center part which there's a tutorial by Fixstar. I also have a stocking that I made a long time ago and there's a tutorial by JC and Casey. I have a single chain charm with a soccer charm on it. I also have this bracelet which I, which I forgot the name of it. And I have a little charm duck that I've made which is an original design also have this bracelet. I forgot the name of this bracelet. I think it's a quadrafish bracelet. And then I have this bracelet which is basically a rainbow and then like with two little it looks like a heart but I don't know. I think there's a tutorial by Raina T. I also have this charm and it's a Spongebob charm that I made a long time ago and I know there is he has gray pants in this one but obviously he has brown. I also have a tie-dye Mickey Mouse by All Things Disney. And this is a Harley Quinn charm. I have a snowman. I have the butterfly blossom bracelet. I have a little OD charm because before I was a huge fan of Garfield. I also have a little penguin. And this there is a tutorial by Elegant Fashion 360. I also have a candy cane charm and I have a little sword which went with the little ninja turtle that I've made by um, Looming with Cheryl. I don't have it now but yeah. I also have this charm here and this is a Mrs. Santa Claus charm and I added a little apron to it just to kind of go with it. And as you can see this is how the apron looks like. And then there's her hair and stuff. Kind of messed up on it, but 
I also have a bunny charm. I have a Simpsons Marge charm that I've made, which is an original design. I also have this flower here, and this is a tutorial by iCrafts. And here's another Diamond Edition bracelet that I've made. I was pretty much obsessed with making that bracelet. And then I also have this charm, which is a box troll charm. I just haven't had the time to make a box for it, but I made this a long time ago. And by the way, mainly these two bags that I have that I'm just showing you right now. So this bag here is filled with charms that I made a long time ago. And the recent box, the first box that I showed you, was all the charms that I've made recently. So here I have a little Macron charm, and there's a tutorial by Tutorials by A. As you can see, some of the bands are tearing, so that's how you can tell they're kind of old. And here is basically of what I mean. And now let's move on to some next charms that I have. I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle charm, which there's a tutorial by iCrafts. I also have this Macaron charm or a Oreo cookie that I've made a long time ago. I never got into post it, but I might do that. And there's a tutorial by Phil and Spiffy. And next up, I have a Snow White charm with her little cape. And then I have a Minnie Mouse charm when I was trying to invent a charm. And then I have a Disney Donut bracelet, which I made in my very few first tutorials. I also have a Elsa charm that I made. I have this Alpha bracelet that I've made. I also have another Alpha bracelet that I've made, which is basically there's a tutorial by Big Star. And I have a Snowflake charm, which I believe there's a tutorial by Elegant Fashion 360. I have this bracelet, and I believe this is a Chris cross dot bracelet and there's a tutorial by tutorials by a I have a sadness charm I have a happy 3d pudding Christmas pudding I have a Santa hat a disgust charm a disgust charm by um by all things Disney and I have an Olaf charm but he has a big head it looks like that was an original design. I have this charm, but it's just basically a rainbow with like cl a cloud and a heart. I have a Maleficent charm. And there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. I have a teddy bear charm, which I copied from a book that I found of Rainbow Loom. And I have a single chain bracelet. I have a Winnie the Pooh charm. I have a Joy charm that I've made by All Things Disney. I have a Homer Simpson charm. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on a few that you've seen. And then I have a Captain America charm and there's a tutorial by iCrafts. I have a Alice in Wonderland charm. I really like this one a lot. This one came out great. And I also have this bracelet. This is when I first started looming and I tried out a hook only design. But as you can see, some of the stitches are not exactly perfect. This is the cupcake confetti bracelet and there's a tutorial by Claire's Wears. And now I have a elf charm and there's a tutorial by uh, Eveline Marine. I don't really know. Just search up elf charm and you should see a charm pop up based on an elf. And But the tutorial is not in English. It's in another language. And I also have a jack lantern charm again. I have a happy minion and this is how he looks like. This one didn't turn out as what I expected but this is how he turned out. It's super cute and adorable. And there's a tutorial by Phil and Spiffy. Mine didn't come out as perfect as hers, but this is how it came out. And next up, I have a Hello Kitty Alpha charm that I've made. And there's a tutorial by Vicstar. 
I have a ghost charm that I've made. Oh, and then I have a mouse here. And this is based off the Garfield series show that I was, like, basically creating a long time ago. But, yeah. And that's how he looks like. And he has a piece of cheese. I also have a Winnie the Pooh tidbit charm. And there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. I have a bow. I also have another single chain. I have a donut bracelet. When I tried creating a Homer Simpson donut charm. And I have a rose garden bracelet. Which there's a tutorial by Official Rainbow Loom. I have another tidal wave bracelet. I have a Dumbo foot, which when I was trying to create Dumbo in the beginning, he would have came out a lighter color, but I made him a darker color. Because I ran out of gray in that color. I have a Happy Hershey Kiss charm. I have a Ariel charm. And I have a heart charm and this I created on the crazy loom the super crazy loom and I have a, another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle by iCrafts I have a Heffalump charm by I mean by all things Disney sorry I keep forgetting and then I have a loom friend and this is how it looks like and this is by DIY Mommy I have this peppermint charm and there is a tutorial I believe by uh, made by mommy then I have a donut charm with sprinkles I forgot who did a tutorial on that then I have this bracelet and I forgot who did a tutorial on that one I have a little mouse and there is a tutorial by elegant fashion 360 and I have a Donald charm, and this is how he looks like. It's a tidbit charm, and there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. I have another fishtail. And then I have a Sally charm, and there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. And then I have a, a DC cat charm. I forgot who this is, but there's a tutorial by Disney Fan 13. I have this poppy bracelet by Made by Mommy. And I have the letter C in based off of uh, Phil and Spiffy. I have a hat, a little Santa hat creation that I've made for, I think it was the penguin charm that I just pulled out recently. And then I have the letter H, or I mean, excuse me, the letter A by Phil and Spiffy. And then I have a reindeer, which I completely messed up on. I got the leg. When I made this, firstly, when I made this first off, basically, one of the legs was, like, up here, and it was facing the wrong direction. So, like, I tried my best to, like, make it and turn it back the way it was. I think it was this leg right here. And then, like, it just turned out really bad. This was one year I made it on Christmas, a long time ago, when I started looming. And I think I'm definitely going to have to remake this because it turned out super, I just didn't turn out perfect. So now I am filming the rest on my phone because my camera battery died. Anyways, now to get started on those things I have left. I have a Dumbo charm here. This is how he looks like. And that's, there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. I also have a little happy pee, and I messed up on that, clearly. And there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. I mean, by Phil and Spiffy. Anyways, I have a pumpkin charm that I've made. That's how it's supposed to turn white. And then I have a hexafish charm. And I also have a cat charm. It's a pink cat. And then I have a banana charm. And then I have a happy carrot charm. There's a tutorial by Phil and Spiffy. I have this charm, which I believe is a koala charm. It's a pencil hugger. And basically it turns out like that. And you put a pencil through it. I also have a single chain with a bee charm on it. 
And I believe the rest is like small things. I have a Pluto charm, a tidbit charm. And then I have this Minecraft Steve charm. I have this bracelet here, which is the pathway to heart bracelet. I think that is wrong. But anyways, yeah, there's that bracelet. And I think there's a tutorial by Expert Looms. I have this bracelet and I have no idea what it is called. I kind of forgot. I think it's a... I honestly don't know. Anyways, I have this bracelet. It's a tool up like Lumigurumi practice of what I was doing. This is how it looks like. And there's a tutorial by Jordan T1. I also have a Vanellope Von Sweets charm. And then the rest is like single chains and like random rubber bands that I have. Clearly, I wasn't as organized as I was before. And then this bracelet, there's a tutorial. I think this is called the Pacific Coast Bracelet. There's a tutorial by Jace Alvarez. And I have a Jiminy Cricket charm. This is how it looks like with this little tiny umbrella. And that's also by All Things Disney. And then I have another Agnes charm. And I have this charm. It's a Rue charm. And basically Rue's from Winnie the Pooh. And there's a tutorial by All Things Disney as well. I even have a duck charm. Which is this charm here. But yeah, and then I have like little tiny charms and snowflakes. And as you can see right there is Incredible Hulk. That's by All Things Disney. But yeah, basically these are just like little mess ups that I've done. And so this is the Honeycomb bracelet by Rainbow Loom as well. But yeah, and then also back here is a candy that I've made. Happy. It's a happy candy and by and spiffy but yeah basically this is like bands in a combination of basically a combination of messed up charms that i've done and then here i have a fear charm which is super cute i absolutely love this charm and that's by fill it i mean by all things disney i keep saying those two a lot i also have a lumigurumi egg that i did i think that was by jordan t1 and then I have my first ever, when I got Wonderloom bands, I believe. My first Rainbow Loom set was a Wonderloom. But this is a penguin charm that I made with Wonderloom bands. And yeah, this is how it looks like. He's super cute. And that, there's a tutorial by DIY Mommy. And then I also have these charms. Which I showed. Oh, and then I also have a Tigger Tsum Tsum. There's a tutorial by me. And I have a rubber band ball that I made. And I have a Batman charm when I try looming my best. And here he has a cape. And then there's a ghost charm right here. But yeah, that's basically mainly the charms that I have in here. And I also have a micro cape. Let's move on to the last and final bag that I have. So now I have one more bag, but first up I wanted to show you this charm. Comment down below if you want a tutorial. This is a Miranda Sings charm that I made. And she has a popsicle charm and it's basically a foot and inside is a pink gumball. Anyways, this is how the Miranda Sings charm look like. And now let's take a look at the last and final bag of my Rainbow Loom collection. So here I have a Happy Cupcake Charm that I've made by Phil and Spiffy again. And I have this bracelet and I forgot the name of it. But there is a tutorial by Tutorials by A. I also have a Nail Polish Charm. This is how it looks like. And then I have this cat charm. And this is supposed to be Nermal from Garfield. And he has a blue ribbon to show he's the cutest cat in the world, basically. And I have a duck charm, but I guess the top portion came off. And there was a tutorial by, uh, I believe, Craft Life USA. Also, JC and Casey, if you didn't know. And then I have a birthday cake cupcake charm. 
and that's by DIY Mommy. I made a Daisy Duck charm. This was an original charm that I've made. I have a Winnie the Pooh charm, and it's a Winnie the Pooh head. And this is like for a keychain, and there's a tutorial by Tutorials by A. I also have a pencil hugger unicorn. And then I have this bracelet called the split fish bracelet. And this is the other side. And there's a tutorial by Tutorials by A. I also have this bracelet, which is... Next up, I have this bracelet, and this is called the crisscross bracelet. And there's a tutorial by Official Rainbow Loom. I have a elf by Fillin... I mean, this elf was created by Elegant Fashion 360, and he doesn't have a hat on. And so it's supposed to be for a snowman charm that I've made. This is a triple single bracelet. And another rare diamond edition bracelet. And then this is a quadrifish bracelet. Because as you can see, the bands are ripping. I have a Oreo charm that I made. Which is original design. And then I have this bracelet. I believe this is called the Taffy. No, that's not the Taffy Toast bracelet. I don't know what bracelet this is called. But if you do, go ahead and comment down below. Anyways, I have this bracelet here. And there is a tutorial by me. And this bracelet is designed by Rainbow Road 2020. This is how it looks like. I forgot the name of the bracelet. But go ahead and check it out on my YouTube channel. You should be able to find it. It's like a recent video, but not too recent. And then I also have this bracelet, which is from the uh, Mishmash Mutants bracelet collection by Vicstar. I have this bracelet, and I forgot the name of this bracelet, but there is a tutorial by Claire's Wears. I have a hamster charm, and there's a tutorial by by DIY Mommy. And then I have this charm. It's a another candy charm by Phil and Spiffy. I have a bigger Donald Duck charm that I've made. I also have another fishtail, a tie-dye Mickey Mouse. I have this bracelet, which I forgot the name of it. And I think, oh, I think this is called the capillary bracelet. And there's a tutorial by Loom Snow. And then I just added a, a seashell charm. And then here's a random hat, which was supposed to be for another Dumbo that I was making. But I just never got to it. And I have a Oswald charm. And there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. And then I have a Minnie Mouse charm. This did have a bow, but it ripped. A lot of these creations in here are old. So that's why some of them are like ripping. And then I have this bracelet. I forgot the name of this bracelet, but this is how it looks like. I do have it, a post on it on Instagram. And I have a Mike Wazowski charm. This is a tutorial by All Things Disney. And then I have another Rare Diamond Edition bracelet. I have a Christmas tree, which I completely failed at, but yeah. And then I have a cartoon eye that I made on Lumigurumi. And then I have the letter B. And then I have a popsicle charm with some really old Rainbow Loom bands. These were Wonder Loom bands, but they were really old. But yeah. Then I have a cute Jack Lantern uh, pumpkin basket. And this is a tutorial by Elegant Fashion 360. I also have this bracelet, and I think there's a tutorial by Raina T. I have the letter D. I have a rabbit charm. I have a Buzz Lightyear charm, and there's a tutorial by uh, All Things Disney. And then I have another flower. This one's a miniature flower. And then I have a pouch here that you can store stuff in, which is pretty cool and handy and then this is how it looks like on the inside and there's a tutorial by um 
by JC and Casey Craft Life USA. Sorry, it took a while to think. Then I have this bracelet. This is called the Gemstone Flower Bracelet, which is an original design. And then here's a panda charm. I have a pineapple charm. I have a cherry charm. And then this is a wreath when I tried looming before. And then I have a Lisa Simpson charm. And then I have another Oreo cookie. And then a ghost from Pac-Man. Then I have this, which is a Mickey Mouse head. And then I have Baymax. And then I have a dragon scale bracelet. I have a penguin charm head. A pencil charm. A micro Christmas pudding cake by Big Star. And another guava cake. And this is, I have no idea what this bracelet is called. I have a cookie charm, chocolate chip, I have a fishtail, and a single chain. And then I have this charm, which is bait Hortensia, I believe it is. And this is, there's a tutorial by All Things Disney. Now I have a circular motion bracelet by MDL underscore looms. I have a Hawthorne bracelet, and there's a tutorial by MDO Family. I have a Snoopy charm. I have this, which is basically supposed to be a mural of a goldfish and a little wreath. But this is supposed to be the goldfish's tail. And then I was supposed to make the goldfish part, but I never really finished it. This, I made it a long time ago, and it's all filled with C-clips. And I just, like, designed it as a mural. And I have a Mickey Mouse charm. And then I have a fishtail with mixed bands. I have the ice... I No, that's the wrong one. I have this bracelet. I forgot what this is called. This is what inspired me to make this mural that I made a long time ago. And I also have the letter F by, by Phil and Spiffy. And I have this bracelet. This was actually really cute. I liked it. This is the ribbon bracelet. I forgot what it is actually called. But it has ribbons on it. And there's a tutorial by Suzanne Looms. I have this. It's a Christmas wreath. And there's a tutorial by JC and Casey. Craft Life USA. And then I have this bracelet. I forgot what name it is called. But this is a tutorial by Jace Alvarez. I have another fishtail. I have a Pac-Man. And I'm almost done. I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I have this bracelet. I forgot what it's called. I have a fishtail. I mean a Starburst. Sorry about that. With jelly bands. I have a Sailor's Pinstripe Bracelet, which when I made it, I was super obsessed with it because I really enjoyed how the middle part looked like, this part. And then I have the Zigzag Rack Bracelet, and I think that's pretty much it. I have a Pumpkin Charm and a Banana Charm. I have a few left, which is basically another bracelet, and then I have this bracelet i don't know what it's called exactly i have another guava cake i have a donut charm by craft life usa and then i have a cherry charm which was made with some really old wonderloom bands and yeah that's basically all the rainbow loom collection that i've made so far this is all of what i made as you can see this one i just finished making this oscar the grouch charm and now, I think that is all, like, the basics of what I have as a collection. I also wanted to show you a few more things that I have. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Here is a Happy Reindeer that I made. This is Rudolph. And there's a tutorial by Phil and Spiffy. I have a Rainbow Loom Minion charm. And this is a t there's a tutorial by me. And, yeah... I also have a happy snowman, and there's a tutorial by Phil and Spiffy, and super squishy and cute. 
absolutely love it i also have a happy tree christmas tree and last but not least this is a drum roll absolutely i have a super cute and adorable king bob <laughs> sorry it took a while i forgot the name so this is king bob and this is how he looks like i absolutely love how he turned out super cute and i added little buttons to it and this is his cape and then he has a little crown but yeah this is all of my rainbow loom collection i absolutely can't wait to loom some more Anyways, I hope to try my best to post more tutorials out for 2020. It's officially the new year. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And by the way, this video was suggested by Brandon Looms on Instagram. Go ahead and check out his account. I'll put in a link in the description box down below. Anyways, without further ado, thank you for so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to become part of the Minion Loop Squad. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!